You know me, paper's coming off. You don't want this paper on. You paint over it, it's gonna bubble up. So make sure when you have something that's got a decoupage on it and you don't want that anymore, that you pull that paper up. And I'm gonna get out my electric sander as soon as I get most of this pulled off. I'll get out the electric sander and sand the rest off. And then we're gonna paint it up. So get the paper off. We're gonna go in with White Swan. It's a nice bright white color. This is that metal wall hanging. I got all of the paper off of there with the sander. Having the dark color underneath is definitely a bonus. So we're gonna go with the white swan and I'm not even gonna be real careful to get all of those creases painted. I'm just going to keep the paint on there. Obviously in the center, it's gonna be a more solid coat. But if I have dark showing through on the edges, that's a bonus for me. That's a lot less distressing that I have to do. We're gonna use the new Sunflowers IOD stamp. So when you get your stamp for the first time, you're gonna to wanna to take some sandpaper and you're going to gently rub over the textured side of the stamp just to remove any of that factory um, coating that they have on it. This will help your ink adhere more. So this is only a one-time thing right when you get it. When you use the stamps for the first time, they pull off kind of hard, but don't worry, you won't ruin it. And uh, then I placed the stamp down onto that tin wall hanging where I was going to use it. I used a thin mount. I take a thin mount and I cut it so that it's smaller size. I like it cut. And then I take my IOD ink and ink up the stamp and I put it onto the wall hanging. So this stamp is amazing. I know you all like sunflowers. IOD tinted their mask now, which is awesome. Thank you, IOD. And so I remove all of the mask that I have from this package, from this stamp, and then I put them all back into that sleeve. So they're, this stamp, all of the mask are together and I don't have to hunt for them. So I stick them all back in there to be a little bit organized. So you're going to take that mask and cover up the head of the sunflower so that we can stamp the stem on because you want the stem to be behind the sunflower. So we put it on there. I also put that on my thin mount and then I added a piece of paper so that I wouldn't stamp over top of the edge of the wall hanging and just be in the center. So inked up the stem and placed that right onto there and the mask of the sunflower and the mask of the paper on the tin got it into the correct spot and made it look like it was behind. Now I needed to add some leaves, so I did this whole masking process with the leaves and I added another sunflower. I used a piece of sandpaper to distress the edges of this tin. I didn't want, sometimes when you use wet distress, it smears the white a little bit, and I didn't want that look on here. Here's the new DIY making powders. I 
just got them today. So, we're gonna try them out. I have Bright Side, which is a pretty yellow. I've tried it because I don't know what I'm doing with these. So all I did was I took a little bit of the powder. It's a powder. It gets all over. So be careful. And it's highly pigmented. And it's so pretty. I'm so excited. And all I did was I squirted some water on my palette. And then I put a little bit of powder in the water. And now I'm painting my sunflower. Don't worry, we'll get some depth here. We gotta get all of these front ones. This goes a long way. And it's okay to go out of the line. We're just gonna go over the whole thing with yellow. Oh yeah, got really intense there. A little squirt of water. So petal here. And this is a petal here. So we're gonna go right up to that line. All right, now we're gonna go in with this darker color called Van Gogh. This is a darker yellow. I'm finding out, it's my first time opening them, that it comes with a seal and you're gonna lose some of it with the seal, so you don't want to waste it, so we're just gonna brush that powder onto, this is just a mylar. Now we're gonna go, oh boy, these are intense. We need to water that down a bit. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can you tell I just got them out of the box? It's the first time using them. Right in front for all to see. Sunflowers are a bit more on the mustardy side, so this is perfect. That IOD stamp is waterproof, so it's not coming off. Oh, love it. Okay, what's next? We're going to, I don't have green that I found in my box. I'm not sure if there is a green or not. So we're gonna use Elixir and yellow and try and make green. Oh, wow. Intense. Mm. It's there. Needs more yellow to make green. It's kind of a grayish green, but I like it. Kind of an army green, I'd say. So what I'm gonna do 
is add a little white to it. We're gonna use white paint. Oh yeah, we lightened that up. So you can mix them and make colors. Oh. Okay, now I want, I think those leaves to be, we got this leaf right here. We're gonna go in with this grayish green in a pure watercolor kind of way. So I'm gonna spray it and really move that pigment around. Okay, there we have it. Now I want to have more of a limey green. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of this yellow pigment and just put it on the tippy end of that green. might be a little heavy, so I'm gonna dab some of it off. That worked perfect. Can see my lines again. And it has a little bit of a shadowing. So I think this stem is a little dark. I'm gonna go in with the lighter green, still not light enough. Let's go in with really light green. Okay, look at that. Now we need the centers. Centers are brown, so we're gonna go in with this New Year's Eve, which is a goldy copper color. I don't know what this is gonna look like. Here's this golden color. Oh, it's not really a color. So, we're going to add a little bit of orange. This is orange you glad. Got to be really careful with these pigments cuz they will get all over. So, I'm mixing some in with my gold. and burnishing it a little bit. Ooh, that is gonna be really dark. This is Orange You Glad and New Year's Eve mixed together, which is a dark. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Ooh, this is bright.
There we have it. We have a finished product. What do you think? I sealed it. It's all sealed in there. What I did is I sprayed it with the two times clear matte finish. And why I did that is because I'm out of big top. The shortage is real, guys. It's even real for me. I'm waiting for my order, but I'm out everywhere. So I used the clear. Now I'm going to go in with some dark wax. Because I put the clear on it, it's going to act as a barrier. So it's not going to stick as much as if we didn't have that. So you just apply the dark wax. I'm applying it over top of all of that detail, which that's where I really want it. And I'm gonna try and do the whole thing. Like you want all of those details to get some nice, dark wax in them. We'll do that top in a bit. All right, we're aging this sunflower up. Okay, doesn't look very nice, does it? You just wait. So I have a piece of paper toweling and I'm gonna go ahead and take off some of that wax. Oh, beautiful. So that clear act as a barrier. And now you can buff. And that dark wax just stays in those crevices. It also kind of aged that up a bit. You can tell from here to here where we didn't do yet what it looks like. So we're going to finish this. Now with the DIY wax, you let that dry for 24 hours, then you come back with a clean cloth and you buff it off and it'll get a nice sheen to it. There we have it. That's the end of my project using the making powders from DIY.